here we are with more Mega Man Maker. Uh, today we will be playing through Clock Tower, created by Satomi Blood, once again. Uh, the HS 33 plays and a score of positive 10, so let's see how it... How it pans out. Okay. Able 6 charge and the Shadow Blades. Mm-hmm. And apparently we don't start out with the Shadow Blade, so... Yeah, it's going to be hidden somewhere! Oh, jeez! Okay. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's just... Yeah, I'm... Debating... <laughs> I'm debating... I'm thinking that the key probably holds the Shadow uh, Blades. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, jeez. Why did it? Oh. It's fine. So yeah, let's just try and <laughs> abuse this weapon. It's a very good weapon to have. You know, basically a nerfed metal blade weapon. I do believe that they have... Uh, lower their damage slightly by the metal blades, though I feel like it does the same damage as the buster on many enemies. So the shadow blades might have an edge. Look at that. <laughs> the metal blades might have an edge damage wise. Yeah, that was a pretty neat setup there, uh, having him go down like that. Or, you know, if you if you got the shadow blades, you can make him go down. I should say. Uh huh. Yeah, we can one-shot these guys so that they don't uh, <laughs> spread out, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I'm just skipping the health here. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm too pro. Too pro. And yeah, let's not jump on on this just yet because we will be sent down into the pit. Okay. Oh, dude. Okay, let's just kill him. Thank you. And yeah, now we wait here. And with the magic of editing, we're here. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Dude, this guy's in a tough spot. There you go. Oh, yeah, okay. That was close. <laughs> um, yeah, we're at the boss, so yeah, pretty much a standard traditional level. Oh, yes, and this week the boss too. Hmm. That makes me wonder is he completely weak to the Shadow Blades? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I might just we use his weakness because when the Buster is that potent, uh, it doesn't really matter what I do, I'm guaranteed to win, <laughs> pretty much. I will have to suck massively to fail at that one. But yeah, pretty cool level. Um, you know, we had the Time Monster in the early beginning as the main gimmick, and then it switched over to the Crash Platform, uh, Crash Platforms. Uh, it had been nice to have... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It would have been cool if, like, uh, we had... You know what those po points in the... Um, crash lift section where we jumped off the crash lifts and you know just to the ground it would have been cool to perhaps have some time bombs instead at certain locations you know uh, you you know used to in, com in combination with the crash lifts you know uh, so that the player would be a little bit pressed for time you know um, but I don't know uh, that's just something I thought of now <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like it's, it's, uh, I will definitely say uh, it still is going in the right direction um, the enemy placement uh, and the mostly the gimmick uh, gimmick usage, I feel like, uh, was improved a lot here in this stage. So, you know, once again, you're going in the right direction there, Satomi. So it was a fun, a, a rather fun playthrough, go through. Yeah. Um, but was a little bit on the easy side, but you know, it had some uh, neat gimmick usage. You know, it was just a pleasant, a pleasant stage to go through. 
yeah so i'll just leave it at that so thank you guys for watching and have a nice day